Hello everyone, Blau aka Kofair, and today we're going to go over Discord webhooks in Lumia Stream. So in version 6.0, we now have a way to use Discord webhooks throughout Lumia Stream. So one of the main ways you're probably going to use it is with a Twitch action. So you're going to go to, you're going to create a new chat command or an alert. Then you'll go to Twitch actions tab and you'll be able to clip and send to Discord. And if you don't want to use it when you just get a Twitch clip, which is what this is specifically talking about, you'll use a Lumia action. So you go to Lumia Actions and then we just want to send to a Discord webhook URL. So to get a Discord webhook URL, we're going to go to Discord. We're going to go to a channel and press edit channel. We're going to go to integrations and we're going to go to view or manage webhooks. We'll put new webhook and we'll call this webhook. We'll choose our channel. We could even choose an avatar if we want to. And then we'll copy the webhook URL. Make sure you save settings on Discord, paste it here, and now you can put in your message. So let's just say testing one, two, three. We'll test the event and make sure that it shows up in our channel. And there we go, testing one, two, three. Now to dig a little deeper, of course you can combine this with variables. So I can use a variable here. Instead of testing one, two, three, we can put message. We could even say new message from another variable called username and then we'll say and they said message so we'll add that we'll call this discord we'll do no light change and we want to skip the queue we'll press apply and press accept for refresh so i'll do exclamation point discord oh we got to put in the message um coming from 6.0 so now if we go to Discord, you'll see new message from Lumia Cove and they said coming from 6.0. Super simple, super easy. Now that's the basic way of using the Discord webhook. But if you want to get more advanced, you'll want to use a send webhook JSON. For starters, let's just make sure we put in our webhook URL and now we use our JSON value. So now basically what the send to Discord webhook is doing, what it's just doing this, it's just doing a JSON value that has content inside and it says my message or whatever you want. So if we test this out, you'll also see that Discord still works the same way. It says my message. Now, of course, Discord has their own documentation of how to use their webhooks in multiple ways to have your own content set up the way you want it to. You can change the colors, you can embed images, you could change the avatar URL of the actual, you know, webhook and we'll show some of those. But to find that, you know, just search Discord webhook documentation or go here, discord.com slash developers slash docs slash resources slash webhook. And then under execute webhook, you'll see the different options you can choose. So if we wanted to change the avatar URL to whoever's chatting, then we'll come over to our JSON and we'll put avatar URL and then we'll make sure we have the string values as well as a comma. And then you can put in your variable. So we'll, you know, we'll have our avatar variable. You'll see avatar show up right here. Avatar. And let's add this and delete the old one. So let's press apply and just see how everything works out. So you'll see if I say discord testing one, two, three, you'll see that my avatar showed up for the Lumia Cove avatar. Now, one other cool thing that you could probably do if we go to your documentation is that we can use different colors. We also have this gist. This gist is from Birdie, Birdie Zero. They have a great gist of how to use Discord webhooks in various ways. We also have our own gist so we can do, and you'll see our gist right here. This will be, this will continuously be updated, um, but a lot of these examples are from Birdie. Uh, so we can do something like, this right here, let's copy this Spotify one because this is the most, this has a lot going with it right now. We'll go to Lumia Actions, edit, and I'm gonna paste that in. So I'm gonna do username is the username who's chatting. I'm gonna do the avatar URL. URL. Don't wanna make it Spotify, I wanna make it the user's avatar. I'm gonna do avatar variable. And when you're doing a variable, just make sure you wrap it in strings quotations or else it will, wouldn't work. And now for the title, I'm just going to say new chat message, new message. And then I do not want a thumbnail and I want my fields to be very basic. So it's just going to be this. 
and it's going to be name text and then the value is going to be my message inline truth sure so we'll press save and apply refresh and let's try this out so we'll do discord tests and you'll see it show up as an embed you also see the color here which is green now we have a variable for color but Discord doesn't take hex, it doesn't take hex values. So we may update something in the future that's just is like user color numeric value, uh, cause that's what Discord uses. So be on the lookout for that in a future update. But you get the idea, it's, uh, you know, relatively simple. We, uh, we have many options that you can choose from. We'll continue growing this list out. We only have four at the moment, but you know, this list will grow a lot more by the time you even see this video. We just showed it in chat commands, but of course you could have did the same thing as a Twitch point. You can allow people to, you know, post your discord from Twitch or anytime they redeem a certain Twitch point, you may want, you know, your discord to know about it. Uh, maybe when you go live on Twitch, you just want to auto post a discord using, you know, your Twitch stream live alerts, or maybe when a hype train starts, you want to let your whole discord know you want to add everyone and tell them to get inside your stream. Um, that's even an option. There are just so many ways when you get a Twitter follower, you know, different things like that. Just combine every one of our tutorials that we have and make your own unique setup. We just want to make your stream that much brighter. We hope you all have a luminous day.